Uh, yeah. Um, obviously, won't kick off the live stream properly until I can see uh, people watch. Oh, two viewers already. Um, but for those who are watching the playback, hope everyone's doing well. Everyone, well, anyone who's watching this live at the moment, hope you're doing well. Hope you've uh, been able to have a nice Mother's Day. Um, I know it's a bit, a bit wank um, for two years on a trot when a lot of people aren't able to, you know, go visit their mums, grandmothers, or any sort of female um, from your family, even your wife or spouse or whatever. Um, we made the best of it because uh, obviously I live, I live with my uh, mum and a younger brother, so I'm very lucky in that regard. And we had a, uh, my nan came over, or grandma. And we had a, a nice roast dinner, and uh, it's been the end to what has been an absolute wank of a week, to put it very mildly. Uh, we won't get into that, though, and I won't even be discussing that on uh, the Monday musings, although I've got a little bit of a sort of a, a mental health update. Um, that's what you want to hear about when you watch beer reviews. Um, so yeah, I'll be recording that Monday musings, probably as I'm walking to work, to be honest, because I'm uh, not going to lie, I had a bit of a relapse, and um, making some very, I think I'm coming to terms with uh, a lot of things, well, one main thing, but again, we won't get into that, because that's not what it's about. So, we've got Adam in the chat, so we'll get your comment up, it says, evening fella. Evening, Adam. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Uh, in fact, before we kick off the live stream, I'm um, just waiting for that other comment to actually show my uh, YouTube stream. Just because I can't read it, because I'm blind. Who says, been driving around delivering Mother's Day's gifts, finding home, just got very interesting and pissed out at the fridge. And he also says, hope you're okay. Adam, I've told you time and time again, with people like yourself and all the rest of the uh, the beer tube of folks and of course close friends and family outside of the realms of the beer world i'd be in fuck knows where i'd be but um you know we're all going through stuff um go back to mother's day i think you know some people aren't able to celebrate mother's day you know they're not able to reach out to uh, a loved one they're not even able to give them a call zoom meeting or whatever because you know it's 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 going to be a tough day for a lot of people i'd imagine and uh, for those who were mothers or those those poor unfortunate people who can't have children i just when you having all of this stuff in your face which is really nice to see you know uh people pouring their heart out about the you know their own mothers and things like that and how inspirational their their wife is with the kids and it's it's beautiful to see, but at the same time, I can imagine there's uh, been quite a few people uh, today who are uh, who aren't having the best of days. So uh, my heart goes out to uh, each and every one of you. And uh, yeah, but it sort of comes in waves, really, doesn't it? That's the whole thing about you know people's mental health and stuff like that. But right now, all things considered, it's been a nice day, and I've focused on that. And now I'm going to have a couple of beers, have a little bit of chat with uh, folks. And I've also got a football accumulator on, which uh, it's going well so far because I got fucked over by um, Strasbourg on this afternoon's accumulator. The only result stopping me from winning like 170 quid. So uh, off to a good start, though, with tonight's accumulator because uh, I had Villarreal to beat, are they called Elbar? Um... And they did, 3-1. And I've currently got Man United to beat West Ham. So, uh, fingers crossed. So, if you see me just not answering comments like I'm doing now, it's because I'm uh, checking the score. But, um, yeah. So, fingers crossed. We shall see. Still nil nil. And I think uh, Ryan won't be too happy um, if... Man United win. But uh, yeah, it's become a little bit of a, a hobby now <laughs> to uh, have a, a bet here and there. But I don't, I'm not, you know, doing it. But mind you, I did have a cheeky little accumulator midweek. 
but um, yeah, it's just fun, and it's made Saturdays a little bit more entertaining. Uh, getting to spend it with my brother outside with the telly on, heaters out, get a few beers, soccer Saturdays on, watching football, having a good time, getting my takeaway. What more could you ask for? So I'm very, very blessed. And we've got James also. Hi, James. Hope you're doing well. Um, I haven't ignored that message uh, you sent me on Instagram, um, but I did for like a week deactivate my Instagram. But uh, yeah, I can't. I'm trying to, and I feel so shit, but I'm trying to jog my memory to uh, the the people who we bumped into while we were at Indiman with me and Rob, because there were quite a few people. Um, obviously, because Rob's been, uh, I'd say Rob, from what I've seen, is the most underrated and underappreciated uh, beer tuber. Because let's let's not, you know, let's face it, we're not exactly the most highly regarded in the industry. Do you know what I mean? Um, and there are quite a few arseholes who per perpetuate this sort of stereotype of us. But it was really awesome to see him, like, getting stopped by just random people, people obviously he knows. And, and uh, yeah, and James actually uh, came up to us. And I'm, for the life of me, I, I can't remember it. So I do apologise, but I'm sure that will happen again uh, over the coming months. But I hope you're doing well, James. And then uh, Adam says, never include French games in an ACA. See, I know. I just, for me ACA tonight, I think of, aside from Boca Juniors and River Plate, a bit of a wild card that could probably completely fuck up. I've got a bit more sensible, but still got a nice pot if it comes through. Um, but yeah. Tough lesson to learn. No probs. We were smashed outside Omnipio. Fuck. Now you're ringing bells. Because I'm sure I had the, one of their blueberry, blue, blueberry slushies. Fucking hell. God, I can't wait to be able to do stuff like that again. Do you know what I mean? It's just going to be, it's just going to be nice. Just hopefully. We don't have a sort of like a, a relapse or a, a spike big enough to warrant us having to go back to uh, what we've been technically considering as normal. But um, yeah, that was a good festival. Really, really enjoyed Indie Man. Rob has a very good men memory. Hope you put River Plate on. Uh, now I went for Bock Juniors, <laughs> which I'm very much probably going to regret. But hey ho. Passes the time on a, a boring evening. Do you know what I mean? Bit, bit stuffed from the roast dinner. And an indie man comeback. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, before I actually get into these reviews, because one of these reviews has come from a little bit of a, a care package from the wonderful Adam from Mersey Beers. And of course, Harry from Blue Nose Beer Reviews, who, with the beers he select, uh, uh, passed over to Adam to give to me, Fucking hell, memories came flooding back. Uh, it was very interesting. I did actually try and do a review, uh, an unboxing the night I got the box, but I had too many videos on my phone and uh, I've just actually just been uploading random beer reviews for the coming week. And uh, I've just realised for like past six reviews, no thumbnails, just very unflattering uh, images of me on, on screen, which is always good. But, but I seem to get more views if the thumbnail includes me because i don't know do, do some people sort of like get a bit put off when they don't have an inkling of who potentially the reviewer could be when it's just like a purposely staged photograph i don't know it's interesting there's weird things with youtube that i've noticed i think i get the most sort of views by doing these live streams as well um and they're just really fun to do but um, yeah, I'm back on Instagram now. Uh, still posting the uh, soppy emotional bullshit that I uh, have been for a little while. But hey ho, that's what um, that's what happens. But uh, yeah, it I, I got annoyed with Instagram because it was just completely aside from that stuff, just completely like 
taking all of my time. And that's why I've still not reactivated my Facebook. Thankfully, you can have your, de your Facebook deactivated, but still use Messenger. Um, so I can talk to, you know, the beer folks and uh, friends and family who realise I'm not actually on Facebook. Uh, but yeah, I've just did it and then like within an hour I'm like oh why am I back here try to deactivate yeah but you can like only deactivate once every seven days but I thought you know what I'm gonna stick around so I've missed some posts from people I've missed uh the sarcastic responses to my uh, stories from Harry we've played from two times out of the last four games between the two <sighs> yeah see I, I put my faith in a but I don't know what I'm putting my faith in. I have no faith. Um, I'm instantly regretting including that in my accumulator, to be honest. I don't know why I've gone so balls deep into this, by the way. Um, I, I, I was moaning a few months ago about how annoying football has become for me and why I've sort of stopped following it. Um, but, yeah, I'm actually really, really getting back into it. Started Ermi um, FIFA again. Uh, Pietro Diodoto. Bit of a shaky start to uh, my season with the Nets here this year. But um, I'm sure we'll, we'll pull through, especially if the difficulties load. Buck Juniors have won once in the last four. Well, hopefully that changes. Or there's a substantial cash out. That's if my other games come through. Fucking Man United let me well down. Um, in my accumulator during the week at the last second. Although I'd already cashed out because another, I can't remember who it was, fucked me over as well. It fucked me over. It's, it's like it's personal. They don't know. Anyway, but yeah, so I got a little bit of a care package from uh, Adam and Harry. So the bit, one of the beers that we're looking at tonight is from that package. And it's uh, the Brew by Numbers <laughs> number five IPA. That was an awful, awful sound I just made. East Coast, 6.2% ABV. We'll get into the, the beers as we open them, and we've got a day of beer as well. So uh, enough brew by numbers was number 42, DDH Pale, and this is brew by numbers at Modern Wharf. So the bold DDH Pale Ale was brewed um, to toast the site of the new brewery at Modern Wharf, Greenwich Peninsula. Our latest project will transform this iconic Riverside warehouse into a destination brewery, tap room and rooftop bar. This unique location sits on the banks of the Thames and Greenwich Beach, surrounded by a rich community of friends and like-minded businesses. Awesome stuff. And I, I like that. Sort of like, is that supposed to be like, can, almost like contextual artwork for what it's going to look like or a pre-existing area it looks good though. i like that artwork a bit hard to see though with it being a silver label uh, another brew by numbers uh, another entry into a number five ipa which again i've got one here and uh, this one is the centennial 6.2 percent abv speaking of football very reminiscent of like a uh, vintage uh, numbers on a football kit on a vintage football kit, obviously. Uh, see, it sounds awkward when I talk about football. And uh, it, it just is. And then we've got two cans of the 64 Imperial Stout Cherry Trifle. Very nice indeed. So some more brew by numbers for the channel. Then I've not had barley wine for a while. And this is uh, barley wine from Polly's. Uh, an upfront wither barley wine. 8.2%. Yes, he did. And uh, I'm not trying to cash in on uh, Raggy's success. Uh, it was just in the fridge from yesterday. And I had two beers left in the fridge. I thought, do I feel like having a beer tonight? Yeah, let's do a live stream because I've not done a live stream this weekend. Uh, people have been busy. and Well, people have been doing live streams. Um, Adam himself did one with uh, our good friend Thomas. Uh, Matt did his uh, Arsenal one with uh, Thomas joined and then also Craig. Uh, Raggy, of course, with his multiple uh, live streams. And who else? I'm sure someone else was doing Oh, Dean is doing one or has done one with uh, 
I've forgotten his name now. How can I forget his name? Scott? Fucking hell. It's amazing how you remember things when you take your glasses off. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd just uh, end the week with a couple of uh, beers and do a live stream. So those are the cans that Adam very graciously gave to. Oh no, there was another one, which was in the cans over there. It was basically, I'm not, I'm not just saying this because Adam gave me it and he asked me to review it because the brewery's quite new. Four T's, um, peanut butter stout and... I can say with hand on heart, the best peanut butter beer that I've ever had. Awesome stuff. You'll just have to bear with me one second. I'm going to have to turn the microphone off and the camera because I uh, got a message from a friend from work. So they're probably going to give me a call any minute now. So just very quickly so it doesn't completely disrupt the stream. And I'll, I'll also have a quick look at the uh, accumulator as well. I can see Adam's. So uh, be right back. Couldn't turn my camera off then. I acted a little bit, but I genuinely could not turn my camera off. Anyway, just shut up, Peter. Hopefully, that keeps the uh, wolves at bay for a little bit. Uh, Adam, another couple of comments. Says, I think this is Polly, Polly's first barley wine ever. Interesting. I've not had one for ages, although I've still got one from um, Me Too Old Box, uh, which I was saying for Christmas, but as we always do, we save beers for Christmas and then never fucking drink them at Christmas. But yeah, I'm look, very much looking forward to that one. And by the way, Adam, if any of these beers you've got a can of and you want to do a live review, more than happy to do so. That would be, I'd be interested, especially if you've got a can of this as well. I'd be down for that. I need to do more collaborative live streams. I really, really do. Um, I'm, I am actually going to be paying for StreamYard once. Um, it's coming up to the end of the month. So I don't know if they sort of... Because if, you, if you're paying for the premium and you've still got loads of hours left from when you're not premium, you I, I kind of got that justification that I'm wasting hours that I could use up before paying for StreamYard. I don't know. I'll look into it. But, yeah, I want to do this much more often. And then we've got Matt Binks. Evening, Matt. Hope you're doing well. Who says, I can't get on with barley wine. That DDH pay was really good. Ooh, looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, barley wines, I've got to be really in the mood for the barley wine. It's not a style that I sort of gravitate towards to. Uh, but very interested with the fact that it's uh, Polly's first barley wine. And um, yeah, I need a few more for the channel. I really, really do. But I'm looking forward to that DDH pale. And then uh, there were three beers um, that Harry, uh, I think, sent to Adam and then Adam forwarded them on to me. And uh, these beers... I remember buying these when we were all in Manchester, which will, will happen again in this insert city here. Um, and uh, yeah, speaking of which, this is when uh, Paul came over from Pennsylvania. Paul P.A. Brew News. Still got a shitload of the beers that he left here because he couldn't take them with him. Uh, I'll have to get that all arranged so I can send them out to him because they've been sitting there for, for a while. Thank God the Primarily higher strength stouts and stuff. Um, but I think I bought all three of these bottles from Beer Moth when uh, Paul, James, Harry, Jake. No, Jake, was Jake there? Yeah, Jake was there. Was Jake there? I can't remember if Jake was there or not. That's bad, isn't it? Rob, Stuart. I don't think Jake was there that time. And I feel like I'm forgetting someone else, but it was awesome, awesome time. And these beers, when I saw what they were, just instantly hit me in the feels. Not that they overshadowed uh, the stuff that Adam sent over, because I love both 
both guys equally. Both of them are beer bays to me. But yeah, it was just seeing these and just triggering that memory. Um was uh, it was it was well needed. In fact, this whole box uh, was a very welcome um, addition to this week. So, Adam, I do genuinely appreciate this. And uh, I, again, as always, the stuff that I left in the bin cupboard for him to take pale in comparison. But you know, we'll be going to Liverpool sooner rather than later. I'll make it up to you. Don't worry. Not that you have ever said, because he's always so he's so selfless. Is our Adam? Rarely, rarely is. And uh, I have all the brewed by numbers, one except 42, which I already drank. I can get the barley wine if needs be. Well, I'm, I'm happy to hold off on uh, these beers because um, I've been drinking a little bit heavily this weekend. Not because this week's been wank, but it's because of just Friday night, came home and um, a friend from... Well, one of my brother's friends from his work was his, it was his last day, so he invited him round just into the bar, just for a couple of beers. I ended up having some when I came back from work, and then on the Saturday yesterday, um, we did our football thing, and uh, yeah, it was good times. But I primarily drank my stuff yesterday because uh, we've just been like going on the Amstel, the Cause. Which, by the way, cause I'm, I'm developing a taste for cause again. I really, really am. And of course, how could I forget? Fucking hell, Craig. I hope he doesn't see this. You're better me. Uh, Harry is definitely better me. Oh, we're not getting into comparisons. I love you both equally. Now, stop it. Even though I'd be saying the same thing about myself compared to another one, so I'm, I'm hardly one to talk. Uh, but yeah, we've got uh, a couple of beers from Torside. Do you remember them? Um, I don't see their beers around much. I don't know. Are Torside still actually brewing? Because you don't see Torside that often now. I hope so, because they're a wonderful little brewery. And uh, we've got two beers as part of their Monsters Strong Beer series. One is, funny enough, a barley wine. This is the American Barley Wine. Uh, bourbon Barrel, 2017, 10%. Then we've got a uh, Rauch, don't know why I rolled the R, Rauch wine, which is a smoked barley wine, also at 10%. So, uh, yeah, barley wines are like buses in this, in this occasion. And then we've got uh, three. We've got a trifecta of barley wines uh, and another smoky one. So I might, ooh. Maybe I'll do a belated 600 subscriber beer review. I could do that tomorrow because I'm off on Tuesday. Tempted. Nice double, double fisting smoky barley wines. And both of them aged nicely. Uh, so yeah, this is a Frick and Frack smoky barley wine from Case and uh, Brewery de Molen. Uh, that's at 11.3%. So, yeah, they were obviously meant for bottle shares. God, that bottle share was lethal, especially a day later. Um, that train ride, train ride home, I've never been so thankful to have to sit next to the toilet on the train so much in my life. My God, talk about clenching your arse cheeks together. I'm sure because of my sort of drinking habits and the fact that I don't, I'm not sick. I, I never vomit. I get like a bit of a groggy head. I do get feel sick, but I never vomit. It just comes out the other end uh, in very liquidy form. Um, so thank God it was just a train back from Manchester to Scan because if that was like coming back from London or even further afield, that would have been the longest train ride ever, but um, yeah, that's what happens when you pretty much devour a full bottle of uh, CBS from Founders. Beautiful, beautiful beer. Questionable people, but beautiful, beautiful beer. And uh, by the way, it's not going to stop me from um, getting backwards bastard every now and then, because that's probably been my favourite Scotch ale. But again, questionable people. Uh, let's see. Where am I up to now? He says, I have two of the MPs, so I can do whenever. Oh, nice. 
yeah, we can do that. And, ah, okay. James there with the knowledge. Tor side have just reopened. No beer garden just yet. Oh, I'm glad to hear that because I think they're really good. And if you want to try a good Rauch beer, um, they've done quite possibly the best Rauch beer outside of Bamberg that I've ever had. So yeah, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear they're doing good because I like those sorts of breweries who they will go out, they will do something like special and unique, but they've got a really good sort of like core, almost traditional sort of thing about them. And uh, oh, nice. Shitload of tour side on first class website. They're another brewery who I really need to sink my teeth to, teeth into. I've just dipped my toe in the uh, in the waters, as it were, and uh, I've had a good, solid experience from them. Uh, so yeah, but I really need to just hold off buying beer because I only just made a day order, which, by the way, I'm I'm like pre I've pretty much demolished that whole day order over the, since I've had it. Oh. So good. Steady Roller Man wasn't tasting the best. Um, I've had Steady Roller Man taste much better than it was. Still wasn't bad. Did a review, but thought it's pointless. Um, so I just deleted the video. But, um, yeah, the saturated in Simcoe. Fuck, that was good. And uh, I, had a, I had two cans of the uh, magazine cover, which was tasting really nice as well. So hopefully today's day of beer will be an absolute cracker. So, as we said, the brew by numbers, it's, it's almost going to start warming up soon. Not even cracked it open. Uh, number five, East Coast. So I'll quickly read the name. East or West, in the name of experimentation, we have created a version of each style, brewed with the same quantities of laurel, citrus, summit, chinook and Zeus hops but using a different yeast for each. Our East Coast version brings a typical haze for the style with juicy hops, low bitterness, and a soft, smooth finish. See, I read that okay, but I'll put two words in the wrong places. Our West Coast version pours brighter with a pronounced and assertive bitterness, as well as notes of citrus and pine, which is your favorite? Well, you've got the East Coast. West Coast, um, I get excited when I come across a West Coast, but then a lot of times I drink it and it's like, this doesn't taste like a West Coast. Um, so I probably wouldn't have opted for that if you know if I was placing an order. But you never know, it could be a really good attempt at West Coast, I'm not too sure. But if we call a juice bro, a haze bro now, juice bro, fucking hell, I can't even get the terminology properly. Can't even put a proper sentence together. Um, so we'll just have a quick look at the uh, my new game. Still nil nil. Forty fourth minute. Fuck's sake! Don't let me down again, man. You. And YouTube's just completely restarted itself. So let's get back on to the actual comments. There we go. So the comments on the actual. There we are, I think we're all up to date now. So, the day of beer that we've got is, can we get a new aircraft? Can we get a new aircraft is based on the recipe for something good five, full of strata, full on juice, sounds good to me, vegan friendly, and uh, look at that artwork from, is it Tom Hobson? I can never remember the guy's name properly. And he's one of my favourite designers, although some of the day stuff, the artwork's a little bit, uh, what, what's uh, what's going on here? Uh, and sometimes the rebrands of certain styles that they've done, I'm just not a fan of. Shite game, want to try being a United fan these days, Maguire, terrible. Or try being an Everton fan these past few weeks. Fuck it out, they let me down royal yesterday. Anyway... The least said about that, the better. Uh, I've got kind of matching glassware. So for the brew by numbers, I need to get a brew by numbers craft master just because I want a brew by numbers craft master. Um, we're going to use the uh, time and tide 
deal hot form glass. Uh, I'm just using these because they're only, I think they're the two glasses that are the same shape. And uh, for the day, I'm going to use the Daya North glass. I had a big thing of getting stainless glasses, but now I want more like fancy takus, tikus, however you say. It. I say teku, even though it's not got two Ks. Anyway, what are we talking about? Let's get these beers open. And as you can see, there's no information in the description box. And there's no thumbnail. Like, it's just a bit of a last minute rush job just to uh, make space in the fridge. So we'll pour the East Coast first. And uh, from recent Brew by Numbers beers, I'm expecting good things. And uh, speaking of something good, let's pour this. I can't remember if I had something good five. If I did, Adam gave me it. That's all I remember. I can't remember. But uh, Strata. So we've got a bit more of a, would you say, classic hop selection in the Brew by Numbers. And this, I don't know, if it, is it just solely strata hops they've used for this? I don't know. But we'll give both a sniff. Oh, yeah. Citrusy. A little bit of tin pineapple. Nice sweetness, but there's like a grassiness there as well. Oh, yeah. Definitely get like a, a pile of freshly cut grass. And it's been raining and no one's moved the pile. There you go. Oh, yeah. It's got that sort of like lemon sherbet sort of aroma. But there is a subtle, subtle resiny dank edge. Very subtle, though. It smells good. It smells really good. Now let's try the day. And I'm not comparing the two beers. It's just the two beers that I'm feeling like doing in a review. Oh, it's got a little bit more of a slight savoury twang to it with sort of like having slight juicy aromas a little bit more tart get a bit more of like a passion fruit like aroma coming through on this backed up by some nice citrusy tones with some subtle tropical hints there as well It smells nice though. It's not as um, aromatic as the brew by numbers. See, I'm comparing the two. I don't want to compare the two. Because they're two different types of beer, and this is a double IPA clocking in at. I oh, know it's not. Don't know why I shouted then. Uh, oh, funny enough, both of them 6.2% ABV. I thought this was a double IPA. That nice no, cloud one that they did. It's a double IPA. Ignore me. Ignore me. So there are some, yeah, I suppose we could kind of do a head-to-head, -head. really, if they're both IPAs, 6.2%. So, yeah. Anyway. Bit of a blonde moment there. Which one do I like the best in terms of aroma? I'm going to have to say the Brew by Numbers. It's got a little bit more going on. Anyway, let's give it a taste. Cheers, folks. Ooh. It's not as sort of like sweet and fruity as you would expect on the nose, and then you have a taste of it. I'm drinking this, and I can see why. They've selected those hops to do both an East Coast and a West Coast version. A little bit of a piney, slight dank edge to it. Yeah, exactly. IPA versus IPA, both New England. I actually did not intend this to uh, be a bit of a head. -head. Yeah. Slight herbal flavours in there as well. Nice medium mouthfeel. 
carries those hops nicely. Yes, it's a little bit more sort of like reined in. You do get a little bit of like pineapple melon sort of character in there. But I was expecting it to maybe be a little bit more sweeter. It's got a little bit of um, fleshy grapefruit on the back end as well. Gentle, gentle bitterness. Mm. That's good then. Nice lemony, sherbetty characters in that. And says, uh, sorry, was cut potatoes when you were talking about glassware. I made one glass style, Miss One Collection, which is stemmed harmony glass. I can't remember what stemmed harmony glass is. I know they did a, uh, a Three Hills order. I know they got two glasses, but um, I was conned from Three Hills. Not rarely, but I was. Because uh, I've started to sign up to breweries and newsletters <coughs> just to see what sort of like exclusive access you get to releases and potential discount codes because I'm a cheap bastard. And uh, they had a March tasting box and the title of the email said free delivery. So I thought, oh, do you know what? I'm going to do it. It's only free delivery if you get two boxes and one of them you can actually have sent to a different address, which is a good concept. Uh, so you can both taste the beers. But I was like, uh, I kind of really wanted the free delivery. And uh, I might pull the trigger on it because uh, they've got some interesting sounding stuff. But uh, I didn't do it out of principle. Even though no one's in the wrong. And then we've got Davo has entered the building, but his comment isn't shown up on StreamYard, so I can't actually highlight the comment for now. Uh, and then Adam's coming. Oh, there we go. Uh, Davo says, Good evening, Pia. Hope you are okay. Evening, Davo. Likewise to you, sir. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Um, it's a good end to a shit week. We'll keep it at that. But um, yeah, good to uh, good to catch up with people. Danny Trails has free hills in there, so you pick some up if you want. It's now my nearest bottle shop, about five mins from my house. What a what a time to be alive! I uh, love to have a I love to have a scam based bottle shop, uh, but I don't know if I don't know if scam's ready for a, a bottle shop. Because just I can just imagine him out of like winos you'd have to turn away because they don't sell fosters or you could accommodate the you know typical scam drinker and have those beers and then also have um like craft stuff and place like claybrow and other local breweries that would be good if scam actually had a bottle shop what would you call it i don't know and uh adam and Davo are both saying evening to each other always nice to see but i might have to take you up on that because uh i've had a few interesting beers from freels all of them ipas though so i've not a, a vast sort of experience with their stuff see now i'm smelling this i'm instantly a little bit more excited because it seems to have seems to have developed aroma whilst it's been sat in the glass but like it's just those same aromas that i got before just maybe a little bit amplified interesting or maybe it's because i've got beer on my palate i don't know does that is that is that scientifically sound i don't know or am i just talking out my ass uh well you have one in wind sammy so that's very close to scan that is true very true. Winston is a bit posh though, it's it's got a decent college. Although Scam College is is from what I've heard quite good now, uh, since they've been doing all the sort of like renovations and stuff. Uh, let's see. Did you place an order with Good Things Bruco last week? I didn't, friends. I remember you mentioned them, but I forgot to go back into the uh, stream to see them. In fact. I'm going to write it down in the uh, beer book. Good things, Bruco. Because I, I, I want to diversify my buying habits. And I, every time I say that, next thing, oh, I've got another Cloudwater order. But uh, 
I'm just waiting for a track to put some Sonoma or Sonoma on the web shop or mini kegs, I should say. Good things, Bruco. I shall definitely pen that in. Yes, I've got a pen and paper next to me in my in my B and O book. Anyway, let's give this a taste. And by the way, evening to you, sir. Hope you're doing okay. It's a night and day difference in terms of the texture. This got a nice, bolder, creamier mouthfeel. Still has that savoury edge coming through a lot. Very Davery. Davery? Savoury? God. Cloudwater order as a default. Yeah, it is. It's. Uh, um, I really want to do a series of getting established and well-regarded craft beers, craft breweries, getting their sort of like, um, oh God, there's a very, there's quite a medicinal aftertaste to this. Um, not too, not too bad, but. Mm. So I've got some sort of like body spray accidentally in my mouth. But um, yeah, so I want to do like head to heads of uh, like like craft breweries. I'll start that sentence again. I want to do a head to head of like different sort of like pails from craft breweries, then lagers from craft breweries, their stouts, all the stuff that's available all year round. But it's uh, unless you can get to get to a web shop that stocks them all that you want. You're having to go from brewery to brewery, but I'm okay to do that because I've, I've, I've really enjoyed just getting some core range cloud water stuff the other week. It just went down an absolute treat. And I even made a really nice grapefruit shandy with their hellas, which I've uploaded a video. I don't know if it's... Uh, I've recorded a video. I don't know if it's uploaded yet. But it turned out good. I think Shuffer Hoffer grapefruit, but with bags full of flavour. Not that it needs bags full flavour because it's already got bags full flavour. And uh, just uh, took Adam's uh, comment off. Yes, Win Stanley is posh. That's why Bottle Shop is in the grounds of a farm. Nearly went to the Sixth Form College. There. Oh yeah. Win Stanley Sixth Form College. Is that the same as what people regard as Win Stanley College? I can't remember. I've lived here my whole life. Minus a few years in Germany. And there are still little sort of um, neighbourhoods and stuff and places that if you ask me, oh, will you go to this place? I'm like, how the fuck do I get there? I'm just so, I said, I don't like going around Skem that much. Even as a kid, we just pretty much stayed in our local area, rarely. It's bad though with that, isn't it? Really bad that. But um Yeah, that makes a lot of sense that it's on a farm. Uh yeah, shitty week it was. I'm hydrating myself with two hundred days lagered local craft lager after Fuller's Imperial Stout 2019 edition. Ooh. And he says I did enjoy that one. Sounds nice. I think that might have been the last Fuller's Imperial Stout that I've had. Not that I get them regularly. No, when was the Fuller's Imperial Stout? I can't remember. I think I actually picked it up. No, it's before that. Because I picked it up when we were in Birmingham. Or was it... Was it too far? Did we have our Birmingham trip in 2019? When we actually went to that Fuller's pub. And I made the mistake of not stealing a Fuller's glass. I can't remember. God, my memory is terrible, but that sounds good. I'm very interested uh, with that lager. I do like a good lager. And uh, Adam says flagship Friday. <sighs> Feel free to uh, take that idea if you've already got a name, Adam. Um, because God knows when I'll be able to start doing that series. It's going to cost me a lot of money. But um, maybe that could be our little, little Friday evening show. You never know. 
Yes, yeah, same place. My school didn't have sixth form. College went to one in Southport instead. Less uppity. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, I went to a Pond High School, and then I went to Wigan and Lee College doing graphic design and art. I don't know what that course would be, really. It was a waste of time. I then wasted my time at Salford <coughs> doing graphic design. Went on the dole for a bit because I dropped out. And I thought, oh, what a great idea. I can go back to uni doing film studies and not get two years worth of student finance because I've already had it whilst I was at Salford. So, um, and now I'm working at a local business that I could have started working there straight out of school. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it, how life pans out? But hey ho, I've got money coming in. That's the important thing. Hmm. I'm just going to put it out there. Both beers are really solidly brewed, but they're hardly my favourite beers that I've had from either brewery recently. Yeah, just uh, a little bit underwhelmed by each one. I mean, don't get me wrong, if you had another can of them, I'd be fine. Um, I'd be interested to hear what um, Adam's thoughts are on this a little bit later on down the line but um yeah they're, they're, they're nice but they're just i've had much better from both breweries and day i've pretty much drank for the whole weekend so but then again like i said steady rolling that wasn't tasting amazing this time around I don't know. You can brew the same beer and over and over again. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the same quality each time. From like the hop yield and stuff like that. Um, I mean, Cedar on Man's still a classic. Still a really good go-to beer. But it just didn't do much for me. I've just read, am I pouring the wrong beer into the wrong glasses now? Fucking hell. No, that's definitely the right one. Hmm. Yeah, a tiny bit underwhelmed by both these beers tonight. Still tasty. You get your hop fix from them. But um, I'd say I'm more disappointed in the, uh, the Dale one, really. Full on juice. I'm not getting full on juice with this. It's uh, it's got a bit more of a, a savoury thing going on, but it's saving grace. I'm saying that like it's a bad beer. It's not a bad beer. It's not a bad beer at all. It's still well brewed as you would expect. It's just you know not not every beer a brewery releases you're gonna absolutely love and adore. So you know it's far from putting me off either brewery because I know I've had some absolutely stellar I've had a lot of stellar um, a few a lot of stellar beers from both breweries in recent memory as well it's just a little bit disappointing that they're not um, hitting the hitting the standards that I'm putting there not that my <coughs> standards mean anything Davo says it's Tectonic Brewery, based in Capital City. Uh, I do apologise beforehand for pronouncing this. Is that Ljubljana? Have I said that correct? I do apologise if I've completely butchered that. Uh, beer Koenig's Tringer Lager is the name of the beer. It's a Hellas Lager with Slovenian Twist, Styrian Golding and Styrian Dragon. Now that sounds good. And that sounds like something uh, I think quite a lot of people... Here in the UK would really enjoy actually. Oh well that does sound nice. That sounds very nice indeed. But yeah, I pretty much depleted my uh, beer collection. Still got a few odds and ends from um just where did that segue come from by the way? I uh, still got a few odds and ends from um the Colonel. Haven't uploaded hardly any uh, reviews from that box. Um, they they will be coming. Don't don't worry. Not that people are waiting on bated breath for my kernel reviews or any of my reviews, actually. 
Um, I've got another can of saturated in Simcoe, which, by the way, was tasting beautiful yesterday. And uh, I've got a can of the uh, that double IPA from Daya as well. And then just like some bits and bobs here and there. So I probably will be making a, a beer order this week. Even though I'm trying to really cut down and spend money. But then again, paydays come around really quickly. So, And I'm doing a lot better uh, than I thought I would in terms of uh, money and my spends and stuff. The beer is brewed for Hoffa. Ald ah, so the Aldi version. So, mm, speak properly, Peter. So the Slovenia. Slovenia. Oh, my God. The Slovenian version of Aldi. Free pack for three euros. It's a bonkers price. Oh, nice. Very nice. I do really like the sound of that. Uh, James said, I did a film degree. Davov actually says my pronunciation was good. Oh. Makes a change. Some of the absolute just awful, awful attempts at pronunciation. Of... Can't I... I've just lost the ability to speak now. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad I didn't butcher that. And then James says, made no films, skinned. Yeah, aside from like the student stuff we made for the course, I've made like little shitty like intros and stuff for YouTube videos and it, it did actually help with them, sort of like my editing stuff and give me a bit more of an appreciation for cinema itself. But, you know, what I would say to uh, any of you young whippersnappers in your late teens, I can say that now I'm 32 years old. I can, I can make out I'm, I'm an old man, even though I look like I'm 24. But we will we'll ignore that. Um, but I do, though. But, uh, yeah, if you're going to do something like film studies, don't go down the dissertation route. Try and get a placement, because the one major roadblock that I had after uni trying to get a job, even as just a fucking runner in a in a TV studio or film studio was, oh, oh, we need someone who's had some experience. Well, I don't have experience, but I've got a 10,000 uh, word dissertation on the Italian giallo genre. You, you know, do you know what I mean? Just get an apprenticeship. Although I did have fun. Did very much have fun um, on that course, and it actually helped me a lot with my uh, sort of like self confidence and anxieties and stuff. I did YouTube as well, so I've, I've even though my videos are just me, very raw, talking to a camera, no editing for the most part. Um, it's given me an appreciation of film, and when I do put effort in. I think my experience from uni in the editing suite and stuff like that has, it does shine through sometimes because I am capable of making good, well produced videos. I'm just very fucking lazy and my MacBook would not be able to handle it, even though I've been looking into um, getting, getting either an iMac or a new iMac or a new I, MacBook, iBook, God, MacBook on finance. So I can get back into doing editing because I'd like to make proper editing videos, and especially with uh, in a few months' time, we may be able to go out to different places. I'd love to do more sort of like uh, out and about vlogs and stuff. I just love the idea of getting footage and putting music to it, and then like having a sequence of stuff you filmed actually come out nice. I just love that whole pro. I love the process of um, creating stuff. But I'd, I'd wish I'd made just like shit. I really, I've got ideas for films. I've got, and I've got scripts that I've written. But I've just never got round to actually shooting anything. But I'm glad I'm not the only one though, James. Um, then Adam says, my degree is in English literature. Can't think of a less useful degree. I think we've just come to that point now where 
unis have just become really quite redundant. And uh, the fact that you've got to pay so much for the privilege of going to uni when all of these people who brought these the student finance and all this regulation in had it gifted to them on a plate. But um, yeah, I don't regret uni, but I do kind of regret uni. But the good thing is, I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll ever have a job that goes past the threshold of me actually having to pay that student loan back. Um, but yeah, where I am now, I love it. Um, great people. It's a local business who I work for. But there's there's a big part of me who thinks I can make much more than what I do make. Do you know what I mean? But right now, just the fact that I'm able to to have a regular income, I'm I'm not I don't want to jinx it. I've got no intentions of going anywhere else. And the idea of going to a new workplace, because it took me absolutely ages to become comfortable and settle in where I'm working now. Oh, thank you, James. Now that's lifted my spirits up a bit. Nice. Let me warm up. Let me just, I'm oh, shit now, because the phone that I'm recording on, Hold on. I don't want to see Milan. Nice. Yeah, I was just going to say, me, me Sky Bet apps on me iPhone, so I can't even see what the uh, cash out uh, thing is. Don't know why I went there, but uh, all nice. And it's the fifty-fourth minute as well. Uh, let's get the stream back up. Thank you for that update, James. It was a very welcome uh, distraction for me talking about my tragic uh, university life. I didn't even... Fucking phone calls. Hang on. Is the stream okay? Yeah, uh, got a phone call. It feels good just like rejecting someone's phone call. I know last time that happened, it affected the stream badly. So if you can still hear me, um, then that's awesome. Let me just mute and unmute. And we've got. Fuck sake. There we go. There we go. Um, yeah, got another call. And I was just about to say good evening to Thomas from Window Beer Reviews. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Uh, I've been really enjoying um, your content recently. Not that I didn't enjoy it beforehand, but you know what I mean. Hope you're doing well on this Sunday evening. But, um, yeah, so that's it, folks. Um, Going to cut it off there because... I'll just get hounded until I actually answer that phone call. Um, so, yeah. Uh, are both beers worth picking up? I'd say so. Give them a try. I always say give beers a try, even if I'm not a fan of them. Um, if you're going to go for this, try and get the West Coast just to make it a little bit more interesting. Because on its own, it's just, it's just another hazy IPA. And unfortunately, this is just another hazy IPA. Both very solidly brewed, and I know breweries who would love to have quality like that, but I know both of these breweries can produce much better. Um, I was going to make another point, but I can't, I can't remember what I was going to say. Uh, yeah, just, there's just better beers from both breweries available. Uh, but the good thing about these, for every beer that you might not enjoy from a brewery, chances are there's going to be loads from that brewery who you're going to really enjoy within that sort of stale stale within that sort of same style but um yeah not bad um 
just could do be maybe being a little bit more interesting, to be honest. Um, but I'd love to hear anyone's thoughts and opinions on these um, in the sort of the comments after this stream has gone up. But um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to cut this off here now. Uh, thank you all for watching and commenting uh, live, and I hope uh, people enjoy this as the playback as well. Uh, both breweries, fantastic breweries, doesn't affect my opinion at all on either brewery, but I just know I can get much better from both breweries. And if you want to see better beers from the breweries, then I've got quite a few beers, reviews from both breweries on the channel. And uh, hopefully I'll remember to update the description box. But um, yeah, massive, massive thank you once again to uh, Adam for uh, providing the beer by numbers. And also to Harry as well for um, passing on some uh, of the tour side stuff. I may do, as a belated 600th subscriber special, I may do a live stream of uh, these two smoky barley wines. Could be, could be a good, could be a good video. And five pounds twenty-five a pound paid for that, which isn't too bad of a price, really, for a ten percent smoky bourbon barrel-aged barley wine. Um, so yeah, look out if you see an event pop up on YouTube, then I'm definitely doing it. Um, but I might do a stream anyway tomorrow because I'm off on Tuesday. Although I want to try and really cut down my drinking throughout the week. Because uh, I'm starting to I'm starting to get to that point where I'm thinking, oh, I'm actually drinking a little bit too much now. Um, but I just, it's just something to do, isn't it, really? So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. And commenting. If you can hear me, I'm not sure if the stream is absolutely fucked up beyond repair now uh thanks to the interruptions that i've had but uh it's been a pleasure uh hanging around with you guys once again and uh we'll do it again soon and uh yeah go check out both breweries check out the beers and more importantly you all take care you all stay safe and i uh, hope you've all hopefully had a really nice mother's day that wasn't me doing a fake stutter, by the way. My nose just instantly blocked as I was talking then. <laughs> so it looked like I was taking the piss. Uh, but no, thank you for watching. You all take care. Stay safe. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening or whenever you're watching this. And uh, I'll see you all soon.